Hi, my name is Adrian. I've been lent a Photon Mono SQ from 3D Zaku. Particularly, I want to thank Gunawan from IMA 3D Printer, who's been a friend of mine, and we've been talking about printing for a number of years. So he loaned me his Mono SQ that he uh, received through uh, 3D Zaku, and uh, I believe he's also working on his own review. So again, thank you for the one, and I hope this next uh, few minutes uh, taking you on a journey of a beginner's guide and a beginner's review of how to set up and use a mono SQ resin printer. reviews on what beginners need. Uh, what I realized was obviously we need to uh, rinse the, um, uh, the print in using some alcohol. So I bought a five litre uh, sealable container that I'll fill in with alcohol. I found this, we're obviously in Indonesia, and this is a pretty cool uh, sort of holder to put the part in and lift up and, up and down. And place here inside the water, ins inside the uh, safe area. I've also, being right-handed, can take the part out of the tool. We've got a toothbrush also for cleaning, spatula as we said. I've got the resin to go, it's a Craftsman resin, haven't tried it uh, obviously, it's white. Got a better mask, this is a K94, uh, a pair of glasses and a whole packet, so many dozens of uh, gloves. So the Incube uh, instructions for the Photon Mono SQ I, I read through and actually um, seems quite straightforward. As I said, I've never used a resin printer, so uh, I'm not going to run through step by step. Uh, I'm assuming other people have done that. So, uh, but to me, the instructions look uh, fairly straightforward, and both in uh, uh, Japanese and also in, uh, in English, clearly. The first time we're going to turn it on, Pull off the protective screen and pull off the protective screen on and the tool say to bring up the setting, move the Z height and move it up uh, 10 millimeters. And let's go up. And then I'm going to loosen up. I'm very excited at this point. I'm, I've never done this before, so I'm very excited. This is nice and loose. Place this in the under position. And now we've got to bring, the, uh, bring it to home with a piece of paper, the paper for leveling. Home first. So it moves up and down a few times, I can see. Just finding probably a little bit of movement within the unit. Hold it down a little bit firmer it stays, and then tighten. I'll tighten a little bit as we go. Tighten across bolts, I thought. I'm assuming you tighten it fairly tight. These are metal or aluminium parts, so you would assume they can handle it. Okay, and once that's, once that's done, we zero it, enter, 
enter, pull out the paper. So click the detection. Um, please set the exposure time of the test image. So we need to do next. It's testing. So now I'll insert the resin. Put the scrap. You can see Max on both sides, it doesn't matter. So I'll put it here. I'm assuming it's clean. Very secure actually. Very secure. The whole unit seems very secure. So that's good. And uh, now we can install the resin. So I noticed in the vat here was a maximum in here. I can see a maximum point and now we're going to fill in the resin for the first time. Safety over here, and then I'm going to remove these two gloves. Feel secure. Okay, I'll put the USB stick in. And here we go. So we're going to go to the print. Uh, we can see an image here. So it suggests to print the cube, the test. So we'll print, print that and uh, it says uh, to press print. So here we go. And then during the setup, it says to exposure. Make sure that's at 50. Scroll down until we see UV. And the UV is at 50, which is correct. Then click it to set the UV. That's correct. And I think it's good to go. So it's going to take 4 hours and 19 minutes. So here we are with a print and let's uh, take it off and let's see what we get. So here we've got the print as you can see. And I will try and uh, place it into the, uh, the, the, the bed. I'm still learning how to make sure I don't get the, the resin all over myself, to be honest. And I'm finding a little bit of cleaning here over the, um, the alcohol vat is helping. And it looks pretty good. And then immediately put it back in place. And then tighten it up. And then what we'll do here is uh, agitate the part. And then uh, it's rather a small part, so I will take it out. And I note here, it's rather small. And you can see this is uh, actually a, a scan of uh, an Indonesian general. And, uh, I will uh, pull off all the supports and see what we're left with. Wow, this has been a, a great week. I've been learning all about the Photon Mono SQ. And uh, again, thank you to 3D Zaiku for uh, allowing me to play with it. And uh, Paguna One from IMA 3D Printer, who loaned me his um, Mono SQ to have a play. You know, I had a couple of failures during the week. Uh, obviously, this didn't quite work. And it appears that the it was sticking to the FEP um, base and I couldn't figure out why and it was very frustrating and uh, I took a bit of time to do some research and one of the things I noticed was that um, my, uh, my table actually has a lot of movements and people mentioned that this was a big factor. I placed it on the ground and this is what we were able to produce immediately so that's a big factor. Also did um, uh, test to understand the exposure time for my filament 
This is number five, which I believe is 2.5 seconds exposure. And that's what I've set into the machine and uh, into the slicer as well. This is a little five centimeter um, print of a general for Gunawan. He's gonna take this and paint it. So hopefully you'll see an image of this uh, uh, completed in the next few days. So again, a big thank you to, uh, to both uh, 3D Zaku and Gunawan from IMA 3D Printer. Uh, I had a great time and hopefully they let me borrow it for just a little bit longer to use up all that resin. Thank you once again.